What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm only showing you how you can do scrolling text in Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12 or 13. Now just before we get into this video, if you'd like to request a tutorial in Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12, 13, Photoshop, After Effects or even Cinema 4D, then be sure to leave in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. So come to Sony Vegas and now you'll need media generators. Now if you don't have it here, just come to View, come to Windows Layout and go to Default Layout. Now just X out of this, X out of this and you'll see media generators right there. Now I'm going to use Hot for this and drag that on right here. Now I'm just going to put uh, my name, oops, like that. Now I'm going to shorten this down to about 45, like so, and we're going to make it scrolling. Now you can either use the track motion or you can use the event pan and crop. For me personally, I am going to use the event pan and crop, so I'm going to shorten it down to 8 seconds, which is I believe right there. Oops. So there we go, so now the length of this is 8 seconds. Come to the event pan and crop, make sure sync cursor is checked. Now make sure this is checked right here, enable snapping. Now go ahead and drag this off to the, this side or this side, whichever ever way you want it to scroll in. Personally I prefer it to scroll in from the left, so drag it completely off. So it's like that. Now depending how fast you want it to come in, it's totally up to you. So remember we've got an 8 second clip. I want it to come in in 1 second. So there's 1 second right there. And what I'm going to do is just drag it in to the point where it's just showing like that. Now if we come up to 6 seconds, so 4 seconds later, and we go ahead and now do it the complete opposite side, so this part right here is going to be on the end of the word. Now what this will actually do, you can see it's going to come in right there. Now the gap right here, it's going to actually make it slow motion. So it's going to come in pretty fast and then boom, slow motion because it's going to take 4 seconds to go across the screen. Now come to the end right here, right at the end, and just drag it completely off screen like that. Now if we go ahead and watch what we've just done, look at that. That is a very nice effect and you can use that in a different way as well and I'll show you that now. Okay, so I've shortened this down to casual right here, and you'll see why in a minute. So we're going to insert a new video track like this, we're going to add hot in, and this is going to be called Savage. And it's size 45 like that. Now, 8 seconds long. And what we're going to do is make casual slide in that way, make Savage slide in this way, and then it is going to be underneath. So Savage is going to slide in underneath, while casual is sliding on top. So let's get into how we do this. Now we've already got the casual one set up, so at one second, I believe it is, it's where it comes in. So if we find one second by zooming in with your scroll wheel and press M on your keyboard, that just lays down a marker. And then when it goes off fast, I believe it is at six seconds. So if we just go ahead and check this, yep, it's at six seconds. So if we go ahead and find six seconds, again, lay down a marker by pressing M on your keyboard like that. Now let's make our life so much more easier. If we come to Savage, and we have to start from the beginning, remember, come to Event Pan and Crop, make sure Sync Cursor is checked. We're making it go this way this time. And now, if we go ahead and press the marker, it's going to take us right to there. And we're going to add Savage coming in like so. And then we can go ahead and click our other marker, which is right there. I'm going to take that back out. And now we're going to go ahead and have this, oops, oops, there we go, we're going to have this go all the way across to that side. And then if we go right to the end, that is when it's going to be completely off screen, like so. There we go. So if we go ahead and watch this, you can see that is the effect we've created. Basically like an intro right there you can have. And one thing that is probably wrong with that part right there, they're probably a bit too close together, so you'll see like that. So come to the track motion, so the bottom one is for casual. Click track motion, make sure you're right at the start. Go ahead, click here, and just move it up a little bit like so. Now if yours does like a massive jump, make sure enable snapping is unchecked, because that's probably the reason. Go ahead, X out of that, come to savage, and we'll go ahead, click here, 
down, 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 like that. Now if we go ahead and play this through, you can see now they've got a bit more space to them, and that looks a lot more better. And you can see, we actually messed up the savage part there, all we need to do is just go ahead and drag that off screen, like so. So if we go ahead and watch this last part again, there we go, that simple. Now just to save you guys a bit of time as well, I'll add a download link to this in the description as a template to download, and all you got to do to edit it is come here, click Edit Generated Media, change it to whatever you want, come to the bottom one, change it to Edit Generated Media, change it to whatever you want, and then if we go ahead and play this through, it's all good, ready to render, and it's that simple. So yeah, that is it for this video, you can see you can do a lot of features with that scrolling text, it doesn't have to be sideways, it can be scrolling down, it can be scrolling up, it can be diagonal, any direction, and you can do it all from this video, just from the same steps, except in a different direction. So yeah, like I said, start the video, if you'd like to request a tutorial in Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12, 13, Photoshop, After Effects, Ruby Cinema 4D, then be sure to leave in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. With that being said, be sure to go ahead and follow me on Twitter where I'll keep you updated where I'm posting and what I'm posting. Also be sure to go ahead and check out my gaming channel, I post three to four times a week. And finally, be sure to have my Snapchat, or just hear what I do throughout my day. See so yeah, it's been Casual Savage here, thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.